This new 2.2 kilometer stretch uh, joins on all the way to West Coast Park. I don't know, doing their shipping container-y thing. <laughs> ah. We are Jonty and Millie, and along with our kids, we look for the amazing wonders of our world, living in Singapore and exploring beyond. Welcome to Wonderlust. I have come to the Pasir Panjang Food Centre today um, for the start of my day. I'm going to be exploring some of the new Park Connector, but first, let's get some breakfast. So I got uh, minced meat noodles. It was three dollars fifty for a quite a generous portion, and this was the small as well, um, and a soup. And um, my favourite thing when it's hot is either watermelon juice or sugar cane. So I got that. I'm always amazed at how much liquid actually comes out of those uh, sugar cane, which is cool. Um, we have never been to this place before. I've never even got off at this MRT station. There is only one exit, so it's super easy. And when you get off, the food court is right there. It's only 8.59. Um, so it's quite quiet, but quiet in terms of people but actually it's really noisy there's like stalls next to me opening up their shutters getting ready for the day preparing vegetables I really love coming to walker centers in the morning because you kind of get a glimpse of behind the scenes when everything's getting ready you can hear like the walks people frying things yeah love coming in the morning so I'm gonna have this breakfast and then set off to find the trail that I think starts uh, just behind here actually so um, yeah I often get lost when I'm on my own but hopefully not today after that breakfast for just three dollars fifty it was a really good portion i can never do chili in the morning though um let me know one of your favorite breakfast things to have i have walked out the back hoping to find the park connector and there's this canal along here um, i'm trying to see if there's any little fish in there but i can't oh there's something in the water over there yeah there are a few little fish in here i'm going to go and try and find the beginning of this park connector route here new 2.2 kilometer stretch uh, joins on all the way to West Coast Park I believe so soon um, all of the park connectors are going to be joined up so that you can do one long continuous walk which is really lovely there's a nice breeze today this one runs parallel alongside the road at the moment so you've got the road there's also a path for bikes and scooters and then there's just a pedestrian path so you can kind of walk along without uh, worry of anything else sort of coming along behind you which is nice I like that they've kind of separated it out more along this one someone's put some rice out for some chickens um, you can just still hear the hawker center kind of livening up getting prepared lots of the stalls open at 11 i guess for the lunch rush so yeah i'm gonna keep going if you've watched any of our videos um, along any of the impact to park connectors you'll know that i love these boards i love finding out little bits of information about where we are um, the history of Pasir Panjang means long beach or long sand in Malay. Did not know that. There's a picture here. This is amazing. This used to be the coast. 1910. I'm standing on what used to be sand and what would have been the sea. And now it's, it's more land, which is, which is incredible. If you didn't know, Singapore does a land reclamation. So where MBS used to be, um, another area around Singapore, that used to be the sea. Um, and they've reclaimed the land to expand the landmass of Singapore, which I find incredible. So yeah, this uh, used to be the sea. So along the way, we're gonna see little bits of hints um, for it being um, along the coast and for it being, I think it was a port as well. So there's a little bit more information about that. Um, I did read it up before I came, but I also kind of like the element of surprise. So we can explore together. So I've just crossed over and there's a little nod to what would have been the beach. There's some sand here and there's this Cool little activity play area um, because I'm here so early no one's on it so I don't have the kids to uh, show you what it's like so I guess I get to have a go today I love that the end parks and park connectors find a way to engage everybody like this is nice and smooth so that you've got buggies or a wheelchair user you can do that you've got another little sandy bit to the side to my left right now so the kids can go along explore all the wooden things while well, you can keep walking along here so everyone's got some part to play some kind of way to get involved which is just great 
hear a bird in this tree, but I just can't see. Ah, I saw it. It's like a really little yellow bird. As you can see, there's still a little bit more landscaping to be done along here. Um, and I believe there's a few other parks that are going to be connected along here that are also going to have some changes. I think Fort, no, was it? Port Park is another one that's going to have some changes to chickens in the bush. Whenever I hear anything in the bush in Singapore, it always makes me kind of like not worried what it is, but I'm like, where's that? It's just a chicken, not a lizard. I'm not a massive fan of the lizards. Uh, so yeah, it's worth looking out, seeing what's coming. If you haven't been to a park for a while, go and check it out again because uh, sometimes there's some new things there. I just stopped to tie my shoe and I've noticed that the sand next door is quite grainy actually and there's little bits of shell in it I guess all of this left over from uh, being coastline and I love that this park connector and I guess the other ones they can just be a place to get you from A to B safely you know your park connector you can walk along it you can cycle along it I don't know about the cars they can connect you to different places but also that you can just take it as a walk you can stop you can look at things hear the birds hear cicadas um, and just explore these things along the way so I urge you if you do have a park connector near you just go and take some time wander along it take it slowly uh, see what you can spot this one's really nice I'm enjoying walking along here it's very 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 bright <laughs> but um yeah at least it's not raining I'm not sure what these used to be but they've been repurposed as planters which is quite cool so there isn't a lot of uh, signage around here which is sometimes something that i find a little bit frustrating uh, about the park connectors or maybe i just haven't had to pass one yet but i was going in the wrong direction i mean you can take it all the way through but i wanted to see the new um the new bit which is kind of more towards Hawpaw villa instead of labrador park the way i was walking so uh, we're gonna rewind this is still part of it anyway um, and it is lovely but I've just done it twice. So we're gonna rewind and head on in the other direction. <laughs> right stretch now so if you come out the back of the hawker center you need to turn right not left even though left is lovely as well um, this old shipping container has been repurposed as a shelter I believe it's got a little garden on the top it might even have solar panels as well but it's got some really nice artwork uh, from Ron I believe so yeah I ran by the road so it's a little bit noisy so I'm gonna carry on now I'm pretty sure I'm in the right place the shipping container is here because yeah there is still a port at Pasir Panjang which I didn't know so this area is a whole new one uh, for me to explore if it wasn't so hot it might feel like autumn I found this sign one of these would have been helpful uh, a little way back though uh, M Parks a little bit of feedback for you there maybe some uh, more temporary signage for when it's a new place but um, I've realized I'm on the bike track so I'm gonna hop over to the other one I have a leaf to use as a fan it's kind of goldeny on the other side autumn is probably my favorite season so you don't get that here but uh, seeing all of the leaves that have fallen down and this uh, walkway is quite covered actually with trees, whether these were existing ones here or whether they've put pin along the way, you can see a few new trees have been here and like the old leaves have been scooped up and put around the bottom to kind of promote growth, which is brilliant. So yeah, this one is nice and shady, although I can see a long stretch of sun coming up. shipping container a little further up there's some other cyclists coming this way there's a few other little entrance points along the way now that you can get a bus to so that you can start kind of wherever you like it is again a bit noisier with the traffic next door but when it does stop you can hear that there are loads of wildlife around here twitting in the trees another little lizard ran past me and I'm trying to be quick to spot them but uh, they're gone just like that
moving inside the shipping container. I can see some lights as well. So if you were coming here in the evening, it'd be nice all lit up. And I guess it would just feel completely different in the evening as well, a bit cooler. Uh, these are surprisingly cool inside, which is nice. And it's actually lovely sitting inside a shipping container, looking across at the shipping containers. You can kind of see some of the things, I don't know, doing their shipping container-y things. I guess lifting them up, getting them prepared to put on the boat. You can see people in hard hats. You can just see hard hats bobbing around. You can see everything going by so they've got some older artifacts here as well that we'll go and have a look at some information on the walls and i love that they've asked real um, stories of people that used to live here as well to kind of share some things about the area i do find the history of singapore absolutely fascinating just to see how far it's come in a relatively short space of time this photo shows a lady called christina chow sitting on the old cannon and it's now back here it's just an incredible thing she was sitting on this as a kid when this was coastland and now it's turned into this this is back here she can come here and bring family and friends and kind of reminisce about the childhood history that for me a lot of childhood places i can go back to in the uk but i think for a lot of singaporeans and from a lot of locals that we hear from you guys that lots of the places that you maybe went to school with the shops you went to they've kind of all gone and i love learning all about that get a feel of how singapore used to be and i think it helps you appreciate how much um, like there is here now so i do urge you if you are new to singapore please explore singapore's history and heritage because it is fascinating <laughs> just checked the map and we can continue on a little bit further to Hopa Villa will be the next MRT station and then West Coast Park is at the end of this where this new stretch kind of finishes it until the rest is ready. Just behind me you can see there's loads of new trees have been planted and they've all got tags on them that tell you a little bit more about them and there's a QR code that you can scan as well if you want to find out even more about plants. So I am back on the track, had to cross a road. You can follow the red dotted lines. Um, I'll kind of tell you which direction we've crossed the road. This path is huge. It's really, really wide, which is great. So there's plenty of space for you to kind of walk a stay to the left and then everyone kind of pass. So if it was busy, everybody going that way has lots of space. Really well thought out as to how all of these parks and green spaces are all gonna fit together. I can't wait for it to be finished. And I wanna test out the whole thing in one go. According to my trusty Google Maps, that behind me, not that, that's an electrical thing. Behind, oh, behind that is Horpa Villa MRT station. I'm going to keep going a little bit further though and see what's along the way. Okay, so the wide tarmac path finishes. It's just for that short stretch. And now I'm passing Pasir Panjang scanning station for the harbour. There's lots of trucks going in there and I'm walking alongside another building just along a regular path uh, can't see a lot more up ahead apart from lots of trucks it's getting quite loud as well um, uh, this bit of stretch is just cars and stuff so well uh, I'll show you back when there's something more interesting I feel like I've been walking down this bit for quite some time it's quite loud as you can hear I'm hoping I get to West Coast Park soon I think this bit would be a nice bit to cycle across, uh, walking, it's okay, but it's very heavy traffic being right near the port, but it's interesting to see how all of this side of Singapore happens. Okay, back on, I guess, the park connector. This feels a lot nicer. Yeah, this is nicer, just slightly away from the road. This makes a little, little bit of difference. There's some beautiful big yellow leaved trees, which are really nice. Oops, attacked by it. Um, some really nice flowers as well around this area. So it's been planted really well. I'm not too sure how long it's gonna take me to get to West Coast Park. Uh, oh, I think I can recognize where I am. I think I've been here before, but um, I'm not sure. So uh, yeah, let's go and find out. There's this little track here that looks like it used to be something or maybe it's just been left to be a bit overgrown maybe it's just walkers but uh, it's definitely cut through into somewhere so i'm gonna head in and see where it goes there's a really nice big green space huge tall palm trees 
cicadas, crazy, crazy loud. Just about hear the sound of the traffic, but the cicadas are starting to take over, which is what I love about this park connectors. They do connect you to all of those green spaces really easily. Wow, these are loud. Just walking along, and if you spot these bright little seeds, uh, in the ground there's saga seeds wherever we go we pick them up we've got a whole pot of them at home so now i've got two more to add from somewhere which could potentially be west coast park i feel like i've gone a loop back on myself not too sure where um where i'm headed but uh hey that's all part of going for a walk going for a bit of adventure and see where we end up two different ways to go this way it looks like it takes me back onto more of a paved track this way looks a little bit more exciting and there's a few cyclists and runners coming from that way so I'm going to head down here. There's beautiful purple flowers all over the floor. Just falling down. I've just done a giant loop through. That was really nice that bit and I'm glad I found a couple of saga seeds to add in. So I'm going to go back on to the other path and I can see a sign. So I'm going to see what that is. I think I have now completed the new section of the park connector anyway. So now this is just a bit of a wander around West Coast Park. Looks like we're heading to car park one and a fountain. Let's go and see what that's all about. This is lovely. Just like a little pond, I guess. Such a nice breeze now. Ooh. Ah. A huge ant. I don't think I'm gonna be stopping for too long. There's some huge ants. Ah. Climbing up my leg. So that turned into, this is so nice sitting, the breeze too. Ah, I've got ants, big, big ants, like the size of my thumbnail. Uh, crawling up my leg, which I'm not a massive fan of. Um, so I'm gonna enjoy it by walking past <laughs> instead. The thing that I'm not very good at judging, which Jonty is, is how long in distance we've got, uh, equated to how long in time that's gonna take. I've got no idea how long it actually takes to get there. I mean, on the map, it looks like quite a small different distance, but then the map is obviously not to scale. So I'm going to wander along a little bit more and see if I can reach the sea before, um, before it takes too long. And I have to go back because I've got a few other things to do today. Um, yeah, it is a midweek day. We had a busy weekend. So you've got me this week showing you something cool in Singapore and the kids are at school and John T is at work and uh, I'm here getting nibbled by ants. Cool little dog wash. I wonder if uh, it'd be frowned upon if I put the kids in there after a particularly muddy outing. <laughs> I'm starting to think that I've been here before but I'm not sure. Hmm. I guess it's a five minute walk, so let's keep going. There's some really interesting trees around here. Some that I find that I've only seen along East Coast Park and now we're at West Coast Park. They're kind of like, to me they look like furs, but you might be able to tell me what they are. They're like a little bit fluffy. Somehow I missed the fountain. Unless the fountain's usually in the pond. Uh, let me know, I didn't see a fountain. <laughs> I figured it out. We have been to West Coast Park before. I've been near the McDonald's. We met John T when he did his local immigrant walk around the island. And I think we cycled through here on our round island route as well. And there is a go cycling place behind me. We talked about this last week in our vlogs. If you don't have a bike, these are great. I think it was $8 for an hour. Um, and if you've got younger kids, you can hire like bike seats for them. And you can hire these big, I don't know how to describe them. It's like, it's like a four person bike. They're quite fun and we did that when the kids were young and they have like a little fake steering wheel that they can pretend to steer with. I'm pretty tired and I did spot a bus stop behind me. I think I might call it a quits. 
thanks for coming along the new bit of the park connector with me if you've done it yet let me know let me know which section of park connector is your favorite bit and why i would love to hear keep recommendations coming like comment we are fast approaching 10,000 subs so if you like our content and you haven't given us a subscribe yet please do share with your friends that you might think you might enjoy this video as well and uh, we'll all see you again next friday bye